Welcome. This video will show you how to configure Syslog NG in some networking scenarios and also introduce the basics of filtering. The most common Syslog NG configuration is the client. There are two lines highlighted in this configuration example. The first adds a network destination, in this case, it's a UDP destination on the regular port number 514. The second adds the network destination to a log path. So this network destination is activated and events are forwarded to a remote server. The next configuration example belongs to a simple server. The first highlighted configuration block is a network source named S underscore network. It contains references to two drivers so logs can be received using the UDP and TCP protocols. The next highlighted section contains the file destination named D underscore from underscore net. This is where messages arriving from the network will be saved. The network source and the file destination are connected by the log statement in the last line of the configuration. Of course, one could simply send log messages from the network to the same destination where local messages go. In that case, the S underscore network source needs to be included in the same log statement. The configuration file for a relay is an interesting mixture of the previous two examples. Syslog NG receives messages over the network but it is not the final destination. Rather, it forwards these messages to a syslog ng server. In this example configuration, the source s underscore network receives messages from UDP sources and forwards them to a TCP destination. As we can see, there is a log statement for local logs and a separate one for logs from the network. This is a typical setup in networking operation centers where most devices send their logs using UDP. A local syslog ng collects these messages and rel relays them using the more reliable TCP protocol to a central location. Filters are one of the most powerful features of syslog ng. Traditionally, filters could only work based on the event priority and facility, just as in this example. The f underscore mail expression defines a new filter, which selects any messages with the facility designated mail. It is then used in the log statement to store messages with the mail facility into a given file. Of course it's possible to create much more complex filters in syslog ng. The first example on this slide uses boolean expressions like and and it also takes message content into account. The filter matches only if the message is coming from the kernel and contains both in and out in the message text. The second example also has some boolean expressions but it includes a level criterion as well as referencing another filter, the previously defined F underscore IP tables. It means that one can define complex filters once and refer to them multiple times. There are many more possibilities in networking filtering which can't be covered in such a short amount of time. For more information, please visit the Ballabit website, which has an extensive documentation library including administration guides for syslog ng open source and premium editions. Thank you.